Thank you very much indeed. Now, the Dutch are well known for their green technologies and recycling. Uh, now that trend is going into the bathroom and recycling something pretty unconventional. Toilet paper, loo paper. Plans are afoot there to recycle used loo paper for use in bike lanes, building materials uh, and all sorts of uh, other objects as well. We can now speak to uh, Carline LaHaye, Managing Director of uh, Certec, one of the companies behind the project. Uh, the Dutch are prodigious users of loo paper, I've learnt today, uh, as, a, as a fact I never thought I would know. Um, just tell us how this process uh, works. Uh, well, if you flush the toilet um, and you use toilet paper, it flushes through uh, to a wastewater treatment plant. Um, and if there's one of our installations there, it, um, the, 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 the wastewater flows through. We uh, use sieves and screens to filter the toilet paper out. Uh, we clean it, hygienize it, uh, and then turn it into a fluffy material or a pellet that, that can be used, uh, for example, in asphalt. Does it have to be a specific source of loo paper? Does it have to be good quality loo paper, the most luxurious one? It, it doesn't have to be that. Uh, it turns out that in the Netherlands, uh, quite a lot of the paper is very, uh, of high, very high quality, which helps because then our end product is of high quality as well. Okay, but and it doesn't need to be. Okay. And up until this point, until you started developing this technology, what would have happened to that once it had been cleaned and dried and everything else? It wouldn't be cleaned and dried. It would remain in the sludge and the sludge would be incinerated. So it would be burned. Okay, so the pellets, the result of the treatment that you put this through, when you say it's used in asphalt, is it, is it used as some sort of bulk thing for that? Because I also read that you, you can t turn it into glass as well. What, what is the, what's the technical aspect of that? I mean, what, what, is that, what do those pellets contain which allow it to be used for asphalt and glass? It's uh, for glass, not so much. It's uh, cellulose, which is uh, basically the fibers um, it's paper, basically, and it comes from toilet paper, so that makes sense. And in asphalt, it's used as a replacement for bitumen, but you could, uh, you could turn it into bioplastics, you could uh, use it for biocomposites, to building material. What's the business model of this like? I mean, is this something which is, which is cost-effective? Uh, we believe yes, because it, it, uh, it's cost-effective when you... Uh, the correct wastewater treatment plant, it's not cost effective for every wastewater treatment plant because the, um, uh, the benefits are both that you remove something that's a burden in uh, the wastewater treatment process, uh, the paper there is actually a burden, plus you, actually, you turn it into a product, a high value product that you can sell, so there's two benefits. Is there any way you can use the heat from, from heating this up as well uh, as, some, as some sort of green uh, extra, uh, extra energy? We use the heat uh, to both dry the material and to, uh, to, to sterilize it, so to say, to uh, pasteurize it. And what's, so what's the heat the, is used. What's the reaction been like in, in uh, the Netherlands to this? Actually very positive uh, and surprised, like you acted. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could actually reuse this. Uh, so people now look differently at a paper that they flush through the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> does, it, does it make them um, think they can use even more? I'm just looking at the figures here. Uh, 180,000 tonnes of loo paper in Holland, uh, the Netherlands, is flushed away each year. I mean, is that, is that perhaps one of the less positive uh, outcomes, that people think they'll use more, because at least it's being handled in a green way? Well, yeah, because you wouldn't be able to 100% recycle it, so yes, that may be a negative outcome. All right. Well, look, uh, Caroline the Hay. Well, I mean, when do you think this might be done commercially? Just, be just briefly. Sorry, what do you? When do you again? think this might be done commercially? Oh, we believe we're, right now we're doing research in a smart plant consortium. This is the plant that's been uh, what you read about as well. Uh, but we're already talking to customers to uh, to apply this um, at larger scale. All right, Carla so, Hay, so fascinating to, to talk to you. Never thought we'd do a, 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 an item on this, but there we go, we have. Um, more on that story, of course, uh, as uh, all the other stories on the website, bbc.com forward slash news. Uh, we're back in a few minutes with another edition of Impact. Hope to see you then. Bye.